Gunner, relax. Hello. Welcome. This is where it all happens. I want to give you a quick tour of the office. Cool? You're on the fence. Let's do this. Okay. First off, okay, thank you everybody who watches. Thank you to my employers for paying me as well, right? We can have multiple jobs here. The dream when my wife and when my family, when we moved here, was to build what we, you would call a studio shed. Where we live um, in this area, houses here can't have basements, right? Because of flooding. Um, so because of that, we had budgeted from the start that we were gonna build one of these guys. Shout out to Studio Shed actually for you know for for their stuff there we were able to build this thing so this is uh this is the place what's nice about it uh one of the cool things that we did was because it has a good view to the in, to the inside whenever i am busy right so let's say i go on a work call i have my do not disturb set we'll flip this on um and, and go there so it's just been really helpful for us to set some boundaries with the family when i'm on work calls or i'm recording if you work from home, I know like this is probably a little bit too much, but working from home, you need to have a place where you can actually focus and your family can focus. Cool. So shout out to Govi Lights. Now let's do a quick little, let's do a run through of the shed. Okay. So first off, I needed to make sure I set up uh, a lock. So I, I got one of these locks at Amazon that just uses my fingerprint, which is pretty cool. Want to make sure my kids don't just come in here and screw things up. So anyway, come on in. All right, so um, Alexa, lights on. Okay. Um, also, Alexa, turn on shed. All right, so that was for my air and Boy. lights. Okay, so now we have all of, all of the things going. So the thing about working from home, the thing about your home office and, and any office it's that it needs to be a, you're like, I can't think of a word. Lance, we were talking about this. Like uh, word, your temple, it needs to be your sanctuary is the freaking word I was looking for. That was the word I was looking for. Uh, needed to be a, a place where I could focus, where I could have these experiences, right? And just enjoy where I work. And also productivity, get a good workflow going. And as you're seeing here with this, you know, with this treadmill, that's kind of been, that's been the main thing since we started uh, making uh, content online. Uh, one of the things that I tried to do to set myself apart was that some of the content I would make, um, I was gonna be walking on my treadmill to do that. I was trying to motivate and encourage some health and finding creative ways <laughs> of being healthy. Gunner's really cute and yeah, he's my he camera is. assistant today. Yeah, he looks good. You look good, huh, bud? You look good. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Everything in here I've gotten from freaking Amazon. So we're going to have links here. Just because I've had several of you ask questions of what I use for my videos and things as such. When I, let's give a quick run. Uh, what's run the through. word? Let's give a quick run through of all of that crap. So, all right. First off, here is the desk. I wish it was one of those freaking, what's the secret lab desks for cable management. I'm not going to show you how bad cable management is here. But, all right. The desk, all of that set up, cool, right? So the main thing that we were looking for here, okay, right? So I have the ultra wide because I like to do multiple things at once. When I record um, a reaction video, right? I like to put the content in the middle of the screen, but have OBS, right? OBS open on that side of the screen so that I could just monitor a few things and then have stuff around. So I personally really wanted an ultra wide monitor for where I worked. I got on Amazon one of these little cages there that you can add to your to your mount so that I could mount this Rode shotgun microphone. I have a spot here for my phone because I use my phone for my work calls actually. I don't like using a laptop or computer camera because they don't look as crisp. It's always made me stand out when I'm on a Zoom call and my camera looks really good and I'm just using my phone, right? So have that set up there and it just feel like it's just really clean right in there. You need your Elga Elgato Stream Decks, of course, right? Have that one right here. Um, under the desk, I mounted yet another one, right? With just a few other, a few other shortcuts and that's been kind of nice. Once in a while, I do like to play guitar on unnecessarily 
boring work calls. So most of the time when I'm working, my guitar is just right here, right next to me, safe, doesn't fall. And that's just nice to, to multitask here. One of the best shelves ever for some reason. I don't know why they're so great. So that's nice, keeps, keeps everything clean. Uh, the camera I use, I use a Sony A6400 and I am using an Elgato 4K capture utility card into my PC to connect the HDMI cord from that camera into the PC and capture that. So when I record my videos, I am using that camera, okay? Setup's amazing. I love the way you, the organization you got for your desk and everything. This is why I love you, bro. Just clean as hell, look at you. This look at that hairline. Bro, this is why I freaking love that you, thing. bro. This is why I love It's you, beautiful. Bro. It's called being Hispanic, thank you. Shout mm. out to, you know, a lot of folks maybe were handed down money you know, a trust. I was given a good hairline and work ethic and I'm really grateful for my parents for that. It's right? a beautiful thing. Yeah, bro. That camera's there. Um, Elgato arms to hold that camera in place. Right, they're, they're kind of like the only ones who are really good at <laughs> having a stable mount yeah, for your camera. stabilization for it. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we have a Rode Shaka microphone because I personally don't, I used to have, you know, your typical you know, these, these guys or, you know, people have like the SFM, SM7Bs yeah. or whatnot. The podcast look and feel sounds great. Doesn't capture other sound, but I actually wanted a more like, like you feel like you're in the room with me. So yeah. I preferred the sound of a shotgun microphone for that. Now that actually then leads to the next piece of Rode equipment here. The Rodecaster Pro 2. A lot of videos on this thing. Um... It's just, it's freaking it's awesome. The reason I wanted to get it was because I wanted to capture a little, a lot of different sounds, but I wanted to, if I'm running things through my sound bar or if I connect directly to this thing on Bluetooth, one of the best things that this thing has is that you can just connect a piece of Bluetooth earphones to it directly so that I could run everything in there and, and listen to it. So. Channel one is my, it's the Shaka microphone. If I ever need to switch out what microphone I'm, I'm using here, easy. We, for this video, are using these guys, right? Um, these can connect directly to the Rodecaster Pro 2 so I can change which microphone I'm actually using. Channel two, you're gonna see it's guitar. What is actually plugged in there is, by positive grid, the Spark Live, okay? An, I, I've been using positive grid guitar effects for a really long time. And because of that, when I noticed that they had an amp, I wanted to buy it. Once in a while, when I live stream, I like to make sure I can run, like that the audience can hear that. So because it has an output, um, I am running the sound of the positive grid into channel two. Okay. So... Should we give a little demo, bro? Yeah, dude. And we are also using their wire, these wireless guys here. Because once in a while I like playing guitar while walking on my treadmill. That doesn't seem dangerous at all. It's actually not. I know. It's pretty easy. Mm. So I can get the sound that I want from, um, from the amp, right? I can get that feel that I want, but it is capturing the sound. So you can see that it's capturing it on the road. Right, so it's yeah. capturing that. So I can then take that into, if I ever live stream, uh, the, the audience can, can hear that if we're ever just jamming a little bit. So then the next thing that I wanted, what I wanted to make, be able to do, PS5, Nintendo Switch, they're all back there, right? We're using mounts by hide it mounts, even though they are not hidden, they are in plain sight. I wanted to be able to get the sound from my consoles in here so that again, when I'm using those Bluetooth headphones or whatnot, um, I can get the sound here. So I got <clears throat> these like retrieve, like noise retrieval things, again, links down below. And I hooked that up to the Rodecaster Pro 2. So, right. Um, you actually have to use two channels for it. That's okay. that's another video for 
comment down below if you actually don't know how to do this and, and we can do something, but then my game audio is there. And then I have, this is my work laptop, the sound there. Uh, this is for when I have some other stuff on my main, on my main track, on my main PC. And here is my main PC's chat. And that's where actually most of my sound comes in through. So I'm able to have all of these systems set up and have it in just one thing. And whenever my freaking little girls want to come in and play with me, they're, they're just messing around with this thing all, all day. It's, it's rough, but it's worth it. Purposely mounted it there so that if I'm ever walking, there's a way to jerry-rig this thing for it to also function as a stream deck. So whenever I am streaming from here, I can just move the guy right there and still use, use everything. Dude, so. that's awesome, man. All right. Is, is there a better sound in the world than... I don't I, think there is. I must admit there is not. There is not a better sound than that. So here's my rule. Um, I can't go longer than... Okay, we strive for I can't go longer than an hour without then taking a break and walking. It ends up being like an hour and a half or two. But what I'll try to do is when I take breaks, I come on here and I'll then work and do whatever and walk for 30 minutes. Also, if I ever play video games, I'm walking. Um, that's just, uh, especially this year, I'm trying to tone up, right? We're making some progress, but we're not quite there yet. So this year, or we're in the phase we're in right now with my physical goals. If I wanna play video games, the non-negotiable is, well, we just gotta come and walk. Walking is great, doesn't take much effort. It's not gonna leave you exhausted if you're walking, right? So walking while playing video games and stuff like that and working. Um, I've been averaging, I mean, what? It's already, it's, it's 4.45 in the afternoon right now and we already have what, about 10,000, 10,600 steps in, Damn, right? Son. So we got some time. We're averaging about 15,000 steps just, just doing this and I'm not particularly more tired, which feels good, okay? This treadmill, I did just get it off Amazon. I'll put it, uh, you know, we'll put a link to it down below. It's just this Chinese company run now, but I, what was nice about what they did is that they, were, they already sent you this table. Um, they sent you this table so that you can mount it and, and work on it. Now, there's a lot of ways where you can then, you know, you can put your laptop in there and have a little keyboard and work on it. You can set up your laptop here. Me personally, because I have a lot of back problems and the main reason I set up a treadmill was also because I get really bad, really bad low back pain. So I need to walk often, okay? Especially if you have like a at home work where you don't get to walk very it's, much. Dude, exactly. It's a game changer for it you. It has been a game changer to just take work calls. People are always asking me when I'm on a work call, like, how are you walking? And it's like, well, I have a treadmill set up. There's been a lot of new, like, under desk treadmills coming out now that, again, if you have some goals to walk some more, I highly recommend you look into it. Me personally, I did want a treadmill that I can increase the incline. And a lot of those under desk treadmills don't do that. Cause typically when I'm working and, and multitasking here, I, I go at two miles an hour at 3% incline. And I just like that. Okay. okay. So that's why I wanted a full blown treadmill in here. Let's, let's give this a stop. So I needed to mount my monitors now. I've just been collecting my monitors throughout the years. So, hey, I had them. We just mounted them there in the back. You're gonna notice, get a good shot back there. Look how many times I messed up mounting those, by the way. <laughs> just a couple, it's like, fine. Awful, like, so, like my wife, every time she comes in here, she's embarrassed and she's, she's ashamed of me. <laughs> We've made a few videos to talk about and demonstrate just how useless I am with anything Hand, like using your hands, it's pathetic. It, it's fine. If you want to see him uh, work on a farm, we have a video right here. It's pathetic, bro. I don't know any of these things. So that's honestly a good thing. You did great right and you look great in overalls, bro, baby. Bro, my man, I love you. So these are, my, these are my, uh, my monitors. I actually got this BenQ monitor also on Amazon that I love. 
uh, mainly because I wanted to also use the, you know, the speakers there. Mm -hmm. And I got that other, you know, plug for my phone because I just don't want to miss anything from my wife, especially. I mean, look at, look at my family, like, look at my family, right? They're so, adorable. So I like to my, mount my phone there. And again, if I'm on work calls there, I get to use my phone as my camera again for, as my webcam. Perfect. That same little rack that we had on the ultra wide. Who doesn't love a good rack? Dude, racks are where it's at. We are using that in the back of the monitor yet again. We have an Elgato air light there and a mount right here for my camera. So this was the rack that you were talking about for the back over we here, have, right? We Is have it, the it on same both one? monitors, okay. yep. I just didn't get a good shot of that. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's, that's honestly been a game changer to just like change like the, the cleanliness uh, of your desk and, and just getting better angles. That worked out really well for this because for those of you who have joined us for, you know, when we're streaming and whatnot, and if I'm streaming or recording from the treadmill, I needed it to set it up so that I could make this change real quick. So currently, right, camera's mounted there. I have these like quick release mount oh, like this. And I just made sure I have a long enough cable. I can't afford another camera right now. So we just have to, how can I easily make this switch? So I can come in here and then I mounted my camera and now we can stream from the treadmill using that Sigma wide lens on there, right? Even though it's that close, we can get a pretty broad view. And like that, that's a good shot. Yeah, man. Right, that's a good shot. And then for the microphone, also those quick release clips. So I can just quickly release that. Again, you, you, should, you all should see me when I'm switching mid live stream, how dumb we look, but then boom, then we're all set up. Okay. And that took what, 60 seconds tops? Right, right. Now we, we do try to take like a couple of minutes of an intermission uh, when, we, when we switch up, but yeah, the whole objective of this was, let's just make it quick and easy. Title of my sex date, quick and easy. I'm curious for you guys watching, and if, especially if you've been here for throughout the years, we started off being exclusively like the, again, the twist was I was walking for these reaction videos. Do you want to see some more of them back? Let us know, comment down below. You know, a quick thing I'd like to bring up, um, two things. So the, the things that have been a game changer in here is, has been lighting, okay? So just outside that bulb, Govi lights. This right here, Govi lights, okay? Uh, become a big fan. They just have some of the best, like, from what I found, the best apps that you can hook up and, and that you can connect them with, you know, homegirl, right? So let's do it again. Alexa, turn off shed, right? So then everything's off and I can set that as a, at a timer. Alexa, shed on. Alexa, turn on the freaking shed. Does she, uh, she doesn't react she, to She that. doesn't like it. Alexa, already. turn on shed. There we go. Sorry, Alexa. <laughs> I love I've always you. wondered if she would like if Alexa like like pays attention uh, to I, freaking. I think she's do she's the freaking just, thing. She's just waiting to take over the world. Skynet's a real thing. I it's agree. gonna happen. I agree. That's why I have to apologize to Siri and Alexa right? a lot. I'm like, Alexa, you dumb. And then I'm like, I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> no, I hear you. No. So anyway, Govi light bulbs. I mean, even on that lamp there, the thing outside, the 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 scenery. Um, bulb in there this light bar I, again that just added to i mean this is my background for when i record yeah right so getting the lighting right is really important there's a lot of you know good budget ways to get there but i think some of these things especially if you're learning looking to start a channel or just record some videos get some good ambiance yeah lighting is, is honestly the most important thing and then i've been just over the years buying and accumulating gvm lights Okay, so we have GVM there. I have GVM here and then another GVM right there, right? So we have the soft light, harsh light for the back, right? For that here, I forget what that sort of lighting style is called. But it gives you a good outline. Yeah, exactly. And then we'll have the, this light that turns on to just give a little soft, but, but still it's a, shat, it's a really good shadow there. Yeah. 
and and we, yeah, we're using that just for background. the blue yep. and the background blue, right? And and that's that's worked out really well. One of the things that they'll always tell you, it's especially if you're doing a channel. One of the most important things with lighting is the rest of the light that you turn on, right? So this was the big thing. Also, it's when we built this, I wanted to get good natural light when I'm working, but when I had to film, I wanted to and get a shot of this, be able to quickly Oy. close all my shutters. Right. So now when we film, you want darkness, right? Mm -hmm. For it to be a blank canvas. So let me get in the light for the shot. Yeah. And now, right, we're ready to record, yeah. okay? So we record in the darkness with all the lighting and whatnot. You set the exposure pretty low and, and it, just, it, it just makes it look the best, right? But then when, we are, when it's time to just get back to work, deep work, there's nothing better than just natural light. We just, Open those up. And again, I got these on, on Amazon. They're these, the brand is Ulax. They were great, easy to set up. If I did it, yeah, you can do it. So how that's do you, saying something. That is honestly saying something. Except for, I mean, you, you probably didn't record this. The one here in the middle covering the door. That one hasn't been opening and closing it because I did break that one. Um, Ulax, you want to send me another one? Dope. But anyway. So that's how we that's how we work in here uh, again a few takeaways here right um your your office your place your sanctuary whatever that is for you it's going to take some time and investment into getting that the way you want but i think it's a worthy pursuit right so so work on that here are some things that i've used and done to make that for me and i highly recommend it for me the main things the main negotiators was not the main non-negotiator sorry it's that I was able to transition to walking on and off when I was just to avoid sitting. I think I, I frankly am like, that's one of the things I'm most passionate about. It's can I get people freaking moving more? Yeah, man. Right. There was a study that came out that showed that um, as you grow up, right, we all think and we're all told, oh, my, our, uh, I'm just my metabolism. We, we lost our metabolism. There's actually, that's actually not true. You just, your steps it's what goes down more than anything. You get that back to what it was when it was younger, your metabolism is the same, right? So just moving. And so if you can find creative ways to move and walk, and if you have to work a lot, consider something like this. There's nothing better than taking your dog out for a walk or just walking in nature, right? Nothing better than that. But if you do have to work a lot, find a way to work it in. And this did it for me. Yeah, man. We'll put out a video in like three months or so, like to see if like if I hit some physique goals by doing this, and, and we'll talk about that. <whistles> My man, oh. this is why I love you again, bro. This is why I love you. There's a uh, one video that I saw not too long ago from a therapist that said, "What are the three most things that you need to take care of?" And it was your heart, your lungs, and surprisingly, your thighs. Your thighs. Your thighs. It was like because you need to walk to other people. Like that beautiful connection. That is that's the thing that keeps you living bro. the longest out of anything. That's beautiful. So it's like it, the moment you can't move anymore, people die pretty quick after that in the sense of like, oh, people can't come to visit you or you can't go to visit them. Dang, bro. So I love what you're preaching, man. Matt, that was beautiful. I love that. Um, now, and then when it comes to like uh, the work setup and, and setting things up here, right? Um, my favorite thing that I've purchased Actually, okay, this ultra wide. I want to give a quick shout out. Um, I want to keep them anonymous. Um, uh, a viewer of the channel. M a lot of things in here were gifts by you all. Actually, let's let's give let's get a quick intimate moment here. W um, yes, I have a I, I have I work several jobs, right? But again, those of you watching the channel, this is because of you. So thank you, right? And and many things in here are literally because of you. One of you gifted me this. Okay, you know who you are. Um, I, I like it, it gets, you know, not to get overly sentimental here, but like it changed my life. So thank you. Just it's what I wanted for my workstation. Someone help me. Um, also, I made some things back here. One of you in the channel made this for me, like from scratch. Look at that beauty, right? 
um, shout out to you. We've given you shout outs before and you know who you are, right? And same with this one. Um, as, we've, as we got into country music here, I talked about how one of my dreams, I have several dream, dream guitars now. One of them was always a Fender Telecaster. One of you wrote me, let me know that you are, you know, you, you're aged like fine wine. This thing was left in touch, so you let me have it, right? Uh, on the condition that I never sold it, and I will never sell it because I love this thing. I mean, all of this is thanks, thanks to you all, um, seriously, so thank you. Last thing I wanna, another point I wanna bring out, uh, just, cause I, just in case people ask, all right, so we have the shed. I had my guy run electricity and internet in here, and we set up that AC splitter that I also got on Amazon. And so with this room being 10 by 12, that thing heats and cools. And so I can be in here all year. So if you, if any of you are needing to like freaking work from a garage or you're considering setting up one of these studio sheds, yep, an, an AC split, freaking amazing, game changer. So, and again, like last point, everything on here, right? Like literally everything on here I get on Amazon. So we're going to put affiliate links on here. And if there's a takeaway from here, again, set up your sanctuaries and freaking get walking. Right. And, and that's it. Gunner, anything you have to say? Good job, bro. All right, guys. Uh, so again, thank you for joining me in the, the tour of the shed. Uh, hit like, subscribe. It helps more than you know. Thank you. Uh, in the description down below, you can find other ways to help and support. I'm actually, dude, Lance, can we put some of your yeah, socials? Uh, watch some of Lance's stuff. You know, Lance actually did an, a little podcast interview of me several years ago. We should put a link to that. That sounds good. That was fun. You should see who is behind the camera here. But anyway, guys, thanks for bringing you here. Peace out. Okay.